Taurus, Bull Gang, how the freak are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you're enjoying your week so far, guys. As you guys already know, this is going to be yet another general reading to see who the freak is coming towards you in love. Do keep in mind the situation here. It could be vice versa or interchangeable. If you are watching this for a Taurus, it could be reverse, okay? Also, Taurus, please do not forget to hit the like button for me, please. Thank you guys so much for your love and the support. Um, Taurus, if this does not seem to resonate for you, it just may not be something that has played out for you yet. So do um, feel free to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Taurus, um, please go ahead and comment where the freak you guys are from, okay? I want to interact with you guys, so, you know, interact with me. <laughs> I want to know where the hell you guys are from, where you guys watching this from. I like to know where my subscribers are, um, you know, viewing me from. All right, so this is for you, Taurus. Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming towards Taurus in love? What is coming towards Taurus in love? Taurus. What is coming towards Taurus in love? Taurus. 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 You got discussion. It's time to have a heart to heart talk with your partner. There's a need to talk, Taurus, or they want to have a heart to heart talk with you. Okay, there's a need to discuss the feelings. Um, you got romance. This is a very loving and romantic courtship that could lead to more. Bottom of the deck is new love. There's someone on the horizon who is coming into your life soon. Some of you, this new love could be someone that you already know, maybe a friend or something like that, okay? But uh, you got new love, Taurus. We like to see that, right? All right. Bottom of the deck as well, you have healing. This relationship is about healing emotional wounds from your past. So someone may be in the process of healing from something crazy. <clears throat> so guys, we're going to use these cards for you guys this week. I haven't used these in a minute. Taurus. What is coming towards Taurus? <clears throat> in love. What is coming towards Taurus? In love. Taurus. What is coming all right, Taurus, bottom of the deck, you have decisions and choices. Maybe a decision and a choice needs to be made, but you have seduction, a whole lot of seduction, a whole lot of passion. <laughs> you have transformation, so you could be seeing a lot of butterflies, but transformation, let's see. We will be doing your work and your career tour, so stay tuned towards the end. Taurus, what is coming towards Taurus in love? What is coming towards Taurus in love? Taurus. <clears throat> Taurus, overall love energy for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <sighs> Knight of Coins reverse, Taurus, okay? You could be connected to another earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Some of you, you're having a lot of, a whole lot of trust issues with this person, okay? You don't trust whoever the hell this person may be that could be in your energy, okay? Um, maybe you feel like there is stagnation in an existing relationship, okay? And it's just not going anywhere. There's a lack of commitment, Taurus, so someone could be feeling a lack of commitment towards you or you feel a lack of commitment towards someone else. Either way, this is not good. Okay, this is not good. This is definitely trust issues here. Okay. All right. What is coming towards Taurus in love? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming towards Taurus in love, please? Taurus. What is coming towards Taurus in love? What do we have? For, oh, yep. See, that's why decisions and choices was coming out. What is coming towards Taurus in love, please? Taurus. What's coming towards Taurus in love? One more card, please. Taurus, you may be connected. Let's go over the signs. <clears throat> Actually, let me put that there. You may be connected to a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. 
or an earth sign like yourself. But there's a need, Taurus, to make a decision. You have two twos here. Some of you may be seeing two, two, two a lot. But some of you are not fulfilled in an existing connection, Taurus, okay? Um, someone here may be dealing with someone who's breaking a lot of their promises, someone who's flaky, someone who's full of crap, a sweet talker, but they don't deliver anything, okay? Um, this could also be somebody who is, um, you know, where the, the love is unrequited, but they're not saying that, okay? There may be um, unrequited love in a, specific, in a specific situation, Taurus, okay? Um, but there's a need to have a discussion. You want to confront this person. This person wants to confront you. Maybe you met one of these people online, but uh, you you need information. You need answers is kind of what I'm feeling here. Or someone needs answers from you because they feel like maybe your heart is not there anymore. Okay, the Five of Swords definitely tells me that there has been some selfishness here. There's been some cheating, possibly. Um, but whatever the Five of Swords is, it's it's not good. You see the you see the motherfucking face. Oh, he look evil. <laughs> so you know it's you're feeling defeated in an existing situation with someone who maybe they they talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. And you need someone who's gonna walk the walk. Um, like I said, I feel like one of these people you don't you don't trust them, Taurus. Okay. But there's something else giving you hope and inspiration here. Um, you may be connected to an Aquarius, but I feel like Taurus, um, whoever this person is, could possibly be the one, the new love. But there's a need to heal your baggage, okay? Or drop the baggage, easier said than done. Bottom of the deck, Taurus, you could be connected to an Aries. But this could be your energy here, okay? Um... There's a need to maybe take control of an existing situation and make a final decision and a final judgment call here, okay? You got the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Um, why do I feel like someone wants to really express something to someone, but it's like emotionally they may not be in a good place, but they're hiding that. So behind this macho, tough guy, you know, exterior in, inside, Somebody's feeling very emotionally insecure, very emotionally unstable, okay? And I think it has to do with um, a previous relationship or an existing relationship to where someone's been getting cheated on, someone's been getting abused, lied to. Taurus, I hate to say, for some of you, this person may even be gay or bisexual or something like that. You may find out that this person likes the same sex or something, Taurus. That's for some of you. Don't take that and run with it, but... uh now, the cusp first can definitely indicate someone who goes, uh, who likes the same sex, okay? Um, this, you may be same sex, but I'm saying for those of you who may be um, identifying yourself as straight, the person you're dealing with, if they're identifying as straight, they may not really be straight, Taurus, okay? Um, king of Cups is in the reverse. You got the King and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So this tells me that you may feel like somebody is the one, um, someone feels like you're the one, but... You guys are not able to make that emotional connection because somebody is emotionally unavailable because of this, because of that, Taurus. Um, <clears throat> you got the Hierophant here. Could be a marriage. Could be a marriage here. Okay. But I feel like one of these people, Taurus, could definitely be your life partner or the person who can give you the stability, the security, the happiness that you deserve, Taurus. Okay. All right. Let's do a little clarification. All right, Taurus. What is the Knight of Cups reverse for Taurus? What is the Knight of Cups? The Four of Swords. Knight of Cups reverse for Taurus, please. Knight of Cups reverse for Taurus. Knight of Cups reverse for Taurus, please. So Taurus, you feel or someone feels like you could be the one. Remember this person, this could be their situation too, um, that they're going through with somebody else, but they got to they gotta walk away from this. Some of you may find that you guys are getting into senseless arguments, senseless, someone's very suspicious, and it could be as a result of unhealed wounds. Someone may have trust issues. Um, it's like someone's not in a good place emotionally. What is a page of swords for Taurus? What is the page of Taurus for Taurus? 
<clears throat> the queen. Okay. So you can sense that whoever the hell this person is may have somebody else or that they're married. It's a hopeless situation. Okay. Um, what is it? Jesus Christ. All right, guys. What is the two of pentacles for Taurus? What is the two of pentacles for Taurus? Two of pentacles. So if someone's juggling two people, two relationships, what are you going to do? Wow. <gasps> Taurus, something, yeah, something's coming to an end here. I feel like um, whatever is going to happen or whatever happened was very unexpected, Taurus, that you found out. Maybe there was something online, some snooping that you did, or maybe you checked this person's phone or something and you found out that they're full of crap, okay? And that led to a breakup. That led to a breakup, a separation. So now what is this decision about with the two of wands? What is this decision about for Taurus? <clears throat> wow. Taurus, it is about going towards your happiness, going towards the person, like I said, you got the four wands showing up twice. That, you know, could be your twin flame if you believe in it. If you don't, that's fine. But you're not happy where you are, Taurus. Some of you may live with this person. You're not happy where you are. There's a need to free yourself, to liberate yourself, um, to get away from them, to get away from the abuse. What is the five of swords? Taurus. What is the five of swords for Taurus in love? Yeah. I feel like Taurus, but there is somebody around you that you you're moving slowly towards them. You're making plans towards this person. Okay, like I said, because I feel like there's someone who does seem to be um pure to you or someone who gives you hope, somebody who this could even be a friend. Maybe that you're thinking about taking things to another level. What is the star? Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what that's about. That's clarified by the world. Um, In order to take advantage of this connection, Taurus, you know that you got to let go of what the hell just happened. And it's easier said than done. Um, it's easier said than done obviously Let's see is there anything else we need to know for taurus in love anything else that we need to know for taurus someone just needs to get the courage is what i'm hearing to approach you um after whatever the hell they just went through or you need to get the courage to approach this person it's going to take a lot of courage a lot of it's going to take a lot of courage with the queen of wands okay to um to go towards this person to make this happen it will yeah someone may definitely be lacking in esteem self-esteem especially after what they've been through they maybe some of you are dealing with i don't know a narcissist or something <laughs> but um i feel like towards someone really beat you down or this person really is beat down from a prior relationship that really played on their self-esteem, their confidence. So if this person, the person that you really want, Taurus, someone is seeing you possibly as the one they really want, in order to reach that star, um, obviously there needs to be releasing of baggage and there needs to be courage. It's going to take a lot of guts to do this. <laughs> trust issues, Taurus, are present. Okay, trust issues definitely are present. Um... I think this new person I'm picking up on, they're willing to, they're willing to wait. They're willing to be patient with you. I kind of feel like this may be someone that you um friends with. All right. What does this person want to say to Taurus, please? What does this person want to say to Taurus? What do they want to tell Taurus? Taurus, Taurus. Someone may have left for somebody else. Taurus. What does this person want to say to Taurus? What do they want to say to Taurus? I want to see you. Oh. Taurus. 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 Taurus.
guys. Anything else? Wow. Yeah, you could definitely be dealing with your twin flame, Taurus, if you believe in it. We are twin flames. I will not hurt you. I think this is a new love, the new person. My heart is closed off. I will call or text you soon. I want to see you, so they want to see you. I crave you. I love you. Um, and I left for someone else. So maybe someone left for someone else or someone wants to leave for somebody else or something like that, Taurus. But bottom line, I just can't help but feel like there's a new opportunity presenting itself. Bam, as soon as I said that. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups. There's an opportunity that is presenting itself to you, Taurus, but I don't want to keep repeating what I just said, but obviously there's a decision, a final judgment call that needs to be made here to stop dealing with the joke or whoever this person is who is kind of manipulating you and lying to you, okay? Um, there's a need to believe in yourself. Someone needs to believe in themselves to go after the person that they really feel could um, they could be stable and happy with. Because someone's definitely emotionally unavailable. They're not in a good place right now, Taurus. All right. I feel like someone's trying to work up the courage to ask you out or work up the courage to uh, approach you at the very least. To trust again, to love again. I feel like someone wants to show you how to love again, Taurus. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, so let's do your work and career reading. <clears throat> okay. What is coming towards Taurus and work and career? Work and career for Taurus. Work and career for Taurus. Work and career for Taurus. Wow, Taurus, you're going to have uh, a decision to make. I feel like some of you may not really be happy where you are. You feel like something's missing or it's like you're not really fulfilled in your current position or current whatever it is. Okay, there's unhappiness here. Um, not being very satisfied with it. But uh, to a sword, it's Taurus. There's going to be, you may have two opportunities that present itself to you. Okay, and you're going to have to decide. You may find yourself being conflicted on what to do with your current job. Okay, if you should leave, if you should not, if you should take a different position. Yes, you should. Knight of Cups tells me that there's good news coming towards you in regards to um, a job offer, a job opportunity, maybe a different position, a different um department whatever it is ace of wands there's you know you're starting something new some of you may be thinking about starting up a business or something like that because you know you may want multiple forms of income you know different streams of income and i feel like it's telling you it could be something creative some of you may be doing something creative on the side um, maybe this has to do with catering this could have to do with um uh, i don't know maybe a bartender or <laughs> something with food Something having to do with design and fashion or something. But um, I'm seeing good news for you. You're starting something new with the Ace of Wands. And it's going to be great, Taurus. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. Um, definitely do not say no to this new opportunity that's coming. Okay. Love you guys so much. See you guys next time.